everybody it's hannah and welcome back to my channel so if you're wondering why i look a little bit crazy right now it's because i'm actually here to show you my hair routine for today so i'm going to go over everything that i use in the shower out of the shower how i style my hair um i had somebody comment recently on one of my videos asking if i'd be able to do a hair routine um they're asking like what products i use and how i keep my hair so shiny so I figured that this would be a fun sort of different video for my channel. I've been wanting to switch up my content from just like straight like trying on makeup videos so I've been having fun um, doing like vlogs and a couple other different videos. So yeah I hope you guys enjoy this and still find it interesting but I just got out of the shower haven't even done skincare or anything but this is kind of where my hair routine starts so um, I'll explain everything to you I guess like after I do this first part just because I need to get my hair up in this towel. What I'm going to be using right now this is like my hair completely like soaking wet I haven't put this in a towel at all this is I just got out of the shower and got changed. Um, so first thing that I use is this Pravana Intense therapy leave-in like it's sort of a spray so what I like to do is just spray this all over my hair you know focusing mainly on the ends but it pretty much just goes everywhere and then I'll just kind of mix this throughout my hair and as far as like a leave-in conditioner type of product goes i usually switch between the pravana and then the olaplex number six i tend to use the olaplex number six right after i got my hair done recently and it's like still super fried needs a little bit more protein but I do find that it can get pretty heavy if I'm using it when my hair doesn't really need it. So I like to use something a little bit more lightweight, which is when I use this Pravana. I don't, like, I've never used this before this first bottle. I just use pretty much, like, whatever minis I have. Before this, I was using a Biolage leave-in spray, which I'll pop up a picture on here. But I've been using this recently, and I find that it's really nice. And then afterwards, I like to use this. It's a 10 blow-dry Miracle H2O shield, and I use this. Um, it helps keep your hair nice and shiny after you blow-dry it which I pretty much blow dry my hair like every single time. And this is the same thing. I'll just sort of spray it all over and it doesn't leave my hair heavy or anything. Um, I find that these are just nice, really lightweight products to run through my hair. And I don't brush it yet. Um, and then what I do is take like one of these microfiber little hair towels that have like a button on the end and then you hook it into here. So I guess, I don't know, should I show you? I don't really know how this will go. Um, I'll either show you or I'll just cut to me with it on already. I can't really show you, but basically you flip your head over and you put the towel part, like the big part around your head, and then you just wrap your hair around in this part, and then you're gonna flip it back. And there's a little elastic on the back that you just slip through a button on the back. It's super easy. Like once you have it, it's kind of like self-explanatory, I guess. So. I'm gonna leave my hair in there to kind of let all the products soak in a little bit more and just get everything ready um, for styling. So while my hair is up in here, um, I'm really quick gonna do my skincare. If you're interested in my current skincare routine, I have a reel over on my Instagram. Um, you can follow me at Hantagliente and check it out on there. But I'm gonna do my skincare and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just finished applying my skincare and now while my hair continues to dry a little bit more, I will go over all the products that I use in the shower. So the main product I would say that I use and that I almost sort of can't live without and I've tried replacements of it and nothing is just the same as this. This is the bright shampoo color, the pastel purple. This is what I use to keep my hair from getting brassy and today I can already tell if you let this sit in your hair for too long or you use it a lot of times in a row in the shower, your hair will be purple. I'll even pop up a picture on the screen here of when my hair was like super super purple when um, I kind of wanted it to be like that so I was like letting it sit for super long in the shower. I think maybe like two or three washes in a row and eventually it had gotten to this purple but this is so good it's the only thing that actually keeps my hair like in check and keeps it this sort of cool toned like ashy blonde which i prefer in myself i've struggled for years i've been dying my hair since i think like maybe 2017 in my senior year of high school um my hair was very very like brassy and i struggled really badly i was using like shimmer lights you know all the basic stuff that people always tell you to use to keep your hair in check as far as like toning goes but this is the only thing that actually works and helps me keep my color. So I like to use this probably of every other wash. I'll use only this as my shampoo. And then every other time that I'm not doing that, I'll mix it in with a different shampoo. So right now, the shampoo line that I'm using is from Paul Mitchell. It's the Awapui shampoo, the original wash. Um, it's just like a moisturizing shampoo. And this is really, really good. And for the conditioner, I didn't realize I'm actually using the leave-in conditioner as my conditioner. Um, I noticed this. I was already using it for a couple of weeks before I had noticed but it's called the conditioner 
even though if you actually look at the bottle it says original leave-in but i bought these online so i figured that the shampoo and then the conditioner was the set especially because they have like the same color cap and everything but this is actually a leave-in um, but i've been using it and it's perfectly fine so this is what i use as my conditioner always and then i'll switch between using the paul mitchell and the bright um i'll use just this and then i'll use this with a little bit of this mixed in like maybe one or two pumps and then i'll wash my hair and let it sit in the shower that way the color kind of penetrates a little bit more and I'll rinse it out and then I will go ahead and put in my conditioner and let that sit while I like wash my body and stuff like that um, and then occasionally pretty much every time I guess I will use a little bit of the Olaplex number no. eight hair mask I'll only use this on my ends though if you use and I only do like two pumps like one to two pumps if you use more than that your hair becomes very heavy and it gets greasy super quickly I find um, so I'll put this all over my hair and then I will take about two pumps of these and just run it through the ends of my hair and let that sit it says on here to let it sit for about 10 minutes. I don't always do 10 minutes, but sometimes it happens. I don't really notice a huge difference when I don't like let it sit for 10 minutes. That is everything that I use in the shower. Oh, and occasionally if you really want to get your hair a good clean, like bring it back to square one, like nothing in it, it's completely stripped clean. I use the VO5 like Kiwi Lime clarifying shampoo this is actually a really really good clarifying shampoo it completely strips your hair so you definitely don't want to use this every time especially if you have like color treated hair because that'll strip any sort of color out of your hair and especially if you're using like color to cover up like gray hairs it'll just completely like cut down the length of time that your color will stay within your hair so you don't want to use this all the time um but if you don't have color treated hair or like me i have bleached hair so it's not like a huge big deal but it does like take out the purple a little bit. So I'll use this. I've used like clarifying shampoos from Dry Bar. I've used like the Detox shampoo from Way, And I feel like nothing compares to the VO5. It's just really good. It's only like 99 cents and sometimes it's on sale for even cheaper. So this is a really, really good clarifying shampoo. And it's pretty much all that I use when it comes to shampoos and stuff like that. So I think my hair is pretty much ready. I'm just gonna squeeze a little bit more water out and this is what we're left with. I always like to use a wet brush to brush out my hair. This is just the one that I have like right by my desk right now. So um, you can see I can very, very easily brush through my hair. And right after I get my hair done, like when it's super freshly bleached, um, it's really, really hard to comb through, which is why I like to use those Olaplex products to kind of add a little bit of protein back to my hair so it's not so like stringy and like snappy, I guess. Um, I've also recently cut off probably like maybe one and a half to two inches just off of the ends of my hair that were just like super scraggly and like gross and crusty. So I just brush my hair out. That's pretty much it. And then to part my hair, I just like comb it all forward like this, just cause when my hair is wet, it doesn't part very easily. And then I'll kind of try to find the right spot. Sometimes it takes a second cause it's a little bit difficult to find. No, that's pretty good um once my hair is blow drying then it'll kind of fall into the right place a little bit better um but yeah i don't know that's decent for now so then once i'm at this step i will add in a little bit of the olaplex number no. seven bonding oil this has like a heat protectant in it so i just like to add this to the ends of my hair i'll do like maybe two or three drops and then i just really really lightly run this through the very sort of like ends of my hair into the mid lengths and once I have like pretty much nothing left on my hands I will bring it up all the way to the top of my hair just so that all my hair is nice and protected so you can see that I'm all ready for styling now so I do have a Dyson air wrap which is what I use to blow dry my hair and then I also use a different attachment to kind of help my hair get a little bit less frizzy so what I like to do first is I have on just the regular hair dryer attachment and what I do is just blow dry like the front like top part of my hair just to make sure that my part is nice and even and like my part is kind of blow dried in already because I used to have like a pretty ridiculous side part um so I've had to kind of do this to help my hair stay parted in the center just because the side likes to pop up a little bit every now and then it's pretty good now because I've been doing it for quite a while like probably the last year or so now but yeah I just it's just like a step that I always do so let me do that okay 
So I literally just do that for a couple seconds just so the top part of my hair is a little bit more dry. And then I'll switch between this attachment, which is just like the run brush attachment, and then the like straightening type one, which sometimes I'll use that. But what I like to do is I flip my head over and finish blow drying my hair upside down. I find that it helps add a little bit of volume and make sure that the underneath part of my hair is completely dry. I don't really know if I'll be able to kind of show that, so I'm just going to fully blow dry my hair upside down. I just brush through it like this, um, like with my head flipped up. And yeah, I'll do that and I'll be right back for the actual like full styling process and how I get my hair like nice and curled. Okay, so I just finished blow drying my hair upside down and now what I'm gonna do is just part it. Um, can't really see it too well. Okay, so it's fine. And then I'm just gonna take this and run this through my hair just to smooth everything out. <laughs> Alright, so that is my hair all blow dried and sometimes I will just leave it like this especially since I cut my ends I feel like it looks a lot better straight but I figured I would just do my whole like styling routine um, I'll either leave it straight like this or I'll curl it so I figured you know I would just curl it in the video so you can use the Dyson Airwrap like curlers that they have in there but I just find that the curls don't really hold so I'm gonna use my Lange Airflow Styler I have a video on this from like two years ago it has like I think almost like 20,000 views or something um, but this is just what I've been using and I find that the curls in this stay for a really long time and I feel like it's just really really easy to use it so I just turn it up all the way to the max heat and then you know it's all heated up once the fan comes on so I will come back to you once the iron is all ready to go okay, so a couple seconds later the fan is on I'm just going to actually turn the fan off I find that like after using it for quite a while um, I don't notice like a huge difference when the fan is on versus when I have it off and since it makes less noise I'm just not going to use it today. So what I like to do when I curl my hair is I just split it into two. You can section it top to bottom. Sometimes I do, but most of the time I don't just because the way that I curl my hair, I don't really need to. So now I'm just going to take a piece of hair from the back, I like to start from the back to the front and I just clamp it in here and then I just twist. And as I make my way down the hair, I just continue to twist. And as I know I'm close to the end, I'm just going to do that and it's really easy it gives like super nice like loose curls so let me do this and once i get to like more of the top pieces i will come back to you okay so i've done quite a few of the back pieces so now i'll kind of show you how i'd like to do the pieces on top so i take like a sort of thin section like this that goes like a little bit way down my hair and i'll hold it sideways and then really close to the root i'll spin around and then just keep going slowly down like how I do the rest of my hair and then get to the end and twist and then the key I feel like is I twist it like this and that helps me maintain some curl like towards the root of my hair so again I'll take a thin section sometimes they have to be split into two so I'll just do the bottom piece first and this one you don't have to be like as exact um, I just do the same thing and this is just like a really really quick and easy way to curl your hair and I find that whenever I use this one it sort of like keeps the length of my hair too like it doesn't um like the curls don't really shrink up which I really like so now I have this top piece again so again I'm gonna get super super close and just twist it quite a bit at the root and then slowly just bring this down the hair and then oops lost that one but i will twist and then it just creates a really really nice loose curl so let me continue doing the rest of my hair so then when i get to this front piece i just like to leave a little tiny piece in the front and then i actually saw this on tiktok um, what you do is bring it over, sort of like crossed over the front of your face and then you're gonna, oops, it's a little hard to do it on this side actually because it's like my opposite hand. Um, but basically you're gonna, oops, so clamp this in and then pulling it sort of to the, your opposite side of your face, you're gonna curl and then 
it should create this yeah this like face framing piece that kind of goes in and sort of like contours the side of your face if you know what I mean like it looks like this so that's a really good way I find to style like curtain bangs because I was always like how do people get it to like go in and then out like I can never figure it out but apparently this is how so this is one side of my hair all curled you can see it's nice and shiny it's super super soft I don't use like hairspray or anything just because I find that that makes my hair kind of look a little bit gross over the course of the next couple days um, before I like do a full full wash of my hair again so this is what the hair is looking like I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side and I'll be right back all right so this is both sides of my hair all done um, obviously these are very sort of like loose type of like beachy curls if you wanted to have more bouncy super curly curls you can definitely still use this um, just to like smaller pieces and I find that if you wrap like I do in my original video you get much more traditional curls but if you just do a simple sort of like twist like this you get more of like those like flat iron curls that are just a little bit nice and loose and then you can always touch up a couple little pieces but I find that these last for a couple days obviously they loosen up over time because you're gonna be brushing like your hair in the morning and stuff like that to make sure you don't have any knots but I find that the overall just like shape of my hair stays really nicely like every time that I do these and I've been using this for months actually years I've been using this for about two years again since my original video where I first got this and also use it as a straightener obviously this is like what I bring with me whenever I go on vacation it's just like a really good two-in-one type of tool so really really recommend that and if you want to get hair similar to mine I would check it out it's sponsored or anything like nothing in this video is sponsored it's just everything that I use but that is it guys I really hope you enjoyed my hair tutorial make sure you subscribe to my channel if you're interested in seeing more videos from me and you like the video if you found this one entertaining bye